Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. When I did the unboxing for this printer, I forgot to mention a couple of things. So I decided that we'll just try and do an entire setup video anyway. So the two things that I forgot inside the printer were the two print heads. We have the color and we have the black. So they're inside here. We're going to open them up in a moment uh, once we get started with the setup. Uh, another thing that I probably could have mentioned uh, during the initial video was that the printer has a cleaning tray at the back there, which pulls out just by sliding it up. And then the other thing was on the back of the printer itself, we have the power lead connector and also the USB 2.0 standard USB printer connector. And the printer does not come with a printer cable, so that's something to think about if you're planning to use it without the Wi-Fi, you wouldn't need to get it. Maybe in some markets it does come with it, and uh, in others it doesn't. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just going to turn the printer on. So let me just plug it in, and we're gonna keep an eye on this screen. So what we're looking for, this is the manual for the printer. I just opened, barely just opened it up, and it says here 510 series, and that means that anything 515, 516, 519, or whatever printer in the 51 series we have the same instructions. So we're looking for uh, this logo once we turn the printer on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in now. And we can look for that on the panel at the front. So we'll plug the power cable in and turn the printer on. And it's doing something. Let me see if I can zoom into the screen a little more. Nah, this lens won't do that job. Again, this is my second video on this camera and I'm still learning how to use it. It's definitely more complex than using a smartphone, I'll tell you that. So once that's done, while it does that, the instruction then says to open the bottle. So this is the black ink bottle. And I'm gonna open up the black ink bottle. Oop, let's zoom out. And what we need to do first is, you have to first open up and remove the seal. So let's do that. And while I'm doing that, the printer is making some noise. So let's put this back on. And we can see the flashing CMYK. I hope you can see that. Maybe when I get to see this on a bigger screen, I'll see it too. But for now, I'm just going to zoom out. And now what that means is we need to fill our ink. So we put this down. So let's start with the black. Pop this open. Let's connect the black ink first. So we open it up and literally just push it down like that. It's not doing anything. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to like fill it myself manually or Oh, there we go, it started filling automatically. So that's nice and easy once you know how. Right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop the video here. Let me fit all the colors in and then we'll move on to the print heads. Back in a moment. So once all of the ink is in, we need to close the lid apparently. So let's do that. And then we get a, another logo on the screen this time. And you can see those two little things, I hope. That means that we now need to insert the print head. So once it's done that and that logo comes up, we need to open the drawer again, and then we can insert the print head. So if I open this up, and then pull the tray down, let's try and show this to you inside. You can see the print heads have moved. So we need to put print heads inside. So basically there was an orange plastic mechanism we need to remove from the printer. That's what it looks like. And be careful, there is some ink on there. So basically to do this, you just have to push down on a blue tab and then twist and remove this. And this can be discarded. Just be careful with the ink. So then we need to input the printer head so I've taken the black one out so this is what the printer head looks like and this just clips inside 
it's a little bit difficult for me to video it from here so I'm just gonna pop both of them in and be right back I've managed to get the black one in and I just wanted to show you that there is a black and mid, like pink mid purple uh, squares here that is actually tell you that when the heads move make sure that they're lined up so you can push them in otherwise they won't fit inside so you might be able to see this a little bit better so I will do the color one while you're here I probably should have opened it up earlier so obviously the first time you're doing this and I haven't done this for years so I had a color laser printer before this and you just stick the toners in once and you forget about it and pretty painless effort to be honest so here's the color one right so you pull this tab out and then you take this tab off from here and all we have to do now and you can see it's color coded so this is the purple one right so the purple one then just slides in like that and there's a blue tab inside which you can't really see but you have to push that down oh one of them has come out so you can see i'm not exactly a professional at this so okay hold on a moment let me pause the video again so reading the manual does help it has to click so if you push it far enough it will click and then you can pull down the blue cover which you can see now so once that's down you can put the cover back on i believe and it looks like i've got some sort of strange error or something i don't know we'll find that in a moment so once that's done and clicked in properly apparently that should be it but it hasn't worked so maybe i need to open this again push that up again nope well this is a fun first experience once the doors closed it says there's something wrong with the paper so let's lift this up Okay, so I pressed the paper button there, that seemed to do something, and now it says, okay, so now the error's gone, and hopefully we'll try and line up the print heads. Okay, now we've got the next step in the manual which talks about this paper. So what we have to do now is there's a blue tab somewhere here. It says to move that along and put some paper in. Oh, so it's actually a paper error. So let me pause it and go get some paper. So luckily I ordered some paper. And let me just get that. Right, so the paper's in and it seems to be doing something. I guess we should pull the tray out. And it looks like it's printing a test page. So it looks like we're done. Um, I acted like a complete novice then. You may be exactly the same but at least by watching this you might learn from my mistakes and maybe you won't make the same mistakes or maybe you read the manual properly and remember to click those heads inside so let's make sure the printout comes out correctly after that according to the instructions it talks about testing the scanner well that's interesting Right, so what that does is that apparently uh, does the alignment. Oh no, sorry, it says scan the alignment page. So it's going to scan the alignment page for the printer. So once that's done, we can take this out, open the scanner. to the edge so the edge is actually highlighted on the top right hand corner here close that and press the copy button so that's the color one I've done so I've pressed that and let's see what happens so there's some action now it sounds like I could hear the scanning head moving and the display now says zero zero if you can see that and it's scanning for Wi-Fi it seems. So it looks like our setup is complete. 
and we now need to connect it to the Wi-Fi. So that part I'm going to have to attempt later on. But I hope that this has been some help. As you can see, it's my first time as well and I had some issues and hopefully you won't experience the same issues if you've watched my video of how not to set up the printer for the first time. Hope you've enjoyed this guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.